As we return to our pre-pandemic routines, more often than not, we're finding ourselves searching for the correct words or asking basic questions such as, what's their name or did I bring my keys? Add to that those everyday stresses constantly coming at us on TV, our computers, even pinging updates straight to our cell phones. Experts say our brains are getting overwhelmed. Too much stress can literally destroy memory cells. Katie Hawkins Gar says the stress of caring for a toddler and getting back to old routines has taken a toll on her memory. I keep forgetting names um, and I feel like it's after spending a year plus on Zoom where you actually have the names right there in the corner. During the pandemic, were we using less brain power? When you stay at home and you see the same people and you're within the same four walls, you lose context and you lose novelty. And when we lose those things, it's very easy to lose memories. Dr. Sarah Mednick has dedicated much of the research at this UC Irvine lab to figuring out how stress impacts the brain. Mednick says as we return to the workplace and start socializing, we're having to readjust. We have to go through a whole other transition to this new era of post-pandemic life. That takes a huge amount of mental energy and it's very stressful on the body. Bridge this part over your shoulder. To get a sense of how stress impacts our short-term memory, I wired up for a memory test. First, scientists okay. asked me to locate boxes with items using Minecraft. You found a stick? Then, researchers ask stressful okay. questions. Tell me about what you think people like about you. Followed by more Minecraft to see if I can remember where each box was found. I don't even remember where I saw it. The stress did seem to impact my memory. Like, where am I going? Just put it down. But researchers say it's not just stress causing our brains to misfire. With an estimated 52% of Americans having contracted COVID so far, scientists are also studying the long-term effects of even a mild infection known as long COVID and how it impacts memory. Most of the um, individuals that I'm seeing are young. They say, you know, I used to be able to do this and now I can't. My brain doesn't work the way it used to. How do we know if we are forgetful because we're stressed? And how do we know that we're forgetful, say, because we have long COVID? But when this is really starting to impair your ability to do your job, that's really a sign that this is probably out of the range of normal for you. The good news is stress-related memory loss is believed to be temporary. I think that once we get past this transition phase, a lot of that forgetfulness will probably pass. 